Stuart McMillan. Thank you, President Officer. The Cabinet Secretary has spoken in his statement uh, regarding Police Scotland in terms of engaging, educating, encouraging, and then using enforcement measures. Can the Cabinet Secretary provide a clarification on the issue of people leaving their home for, for non-essential travel? Whilst at the weekend we saw queues of people at, at the reopened B&Q, as well as people still driving to parks to walk or run. I'm sorry, sir. Can I thank Stuart McMillan for, for that question? And uh, we have been absolutely clear on the reasons why people can leave the house. Uh, and also, of course, we've been asking people uh, when it comes to that uh, once daily exercise, for which I know uh, everybody enjoys, particularly in the weather that we have today, that that should be done locally. There should be no need uh, to, to, to drive to locations. And we know the dangers of doing so, that driving to uh, scenic locations, of course, might be a popular thing to do, and therefore they become crowded, uh, and, and, and therefore socially distancing during those walks, during that exercise, becomes very, very difficult to maintain. So therefore, the advice, very strong advice, uh, has been to walk or exercise locally uh, as opposed to travelling in the car. Uh, in relation to, to the guidance, as I say, it's very specific. It's laid out. Uh, I think the advice is, is very, very clear. Uh, and the police will take a, a common sense approach, as the Chief Constable uh, has often reiterated. And is, in fact, the numbers that have been fined or indeed uh, other action has been taken are, are very, very low. That demonstrates that common sense approach. But be in no doubt whatsoever uh, that enforcement action will remain an option for the police to take if necessary.